You're listening to Bridges Radio Program. This is a show about the creative industries, artists of all mediums, and other professionals who make the art we all enjoy. Bridges is produced at Citadel House Studios in Lewisport, Newfoundland and Labrador, and is a collaborative project between Carolyn R. Parsons and Citadel House. This program can be found on iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, and in podcasts at SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts, as well as many other podcast hosting programs. Good evening, Bonnie. Good evening out there. This is Bridges Radio on November 2nd, and I am in Lewisport. And Bonnie, where are you? Good old Tirana. Good Tirana. old Tirana. <laughs> are you having fun? You've been there a little while now. Are you having fun? I am enjoying myself. I've got some stuff um, coming up. I'm volunteering at Indie Music Week next week, um, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, nice. I've been meeting some people and... Trying to make those connections. Fingers crossed they're working. <laughs> That's good. Oh, it's, you're living the dream. I think I would love to live <laughs> in Toronto um, for a while. I think everybody should live in different places and long enough to, you know, to really get a feel for it, like for a couple of months anyway, to not just a vacation, but live in different places so you can really get a handle on what the community's like. And Toronto's such a cool city. I, I just, mm-hmm. I mean, you don't have to stay there forever, but um, at least you'll know, you know, a little bit of the uh, the way it is. And I mean, Toronto, is, it's a city, but the thing that people don't realize about cities is that they're really just a whole bunch of neighborhoods, really. Yeah, you know, true. Right? You're in Little Italy, and that's the area, mm-hmm. right? And that's yeah. a neighborhood with a certain, um, you know community spirit and and certain things that happen in that neighborhood and it's i don't know I, I, that's how toronto is and that's how big cities are so you know they're all little bunch of villages all scrambled together with a lot of traffic issues <laughs> <laughs> anywhere but, i travel it's just as if i'm going to gander right that's how long it takes so yeah 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 but the cool thing about cities, you know, they have transit. So you can hop on a bus, you can hop on a train, and you can go to the different places. And I just, and to me, the the advantage of cities for me is the food. I just find mm. that having all that uh, variation and different foods, oh, that's what I like. So anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're up there and enjoying it and giving it a shot and uh, finding Thanks. fun things to do. Because there are cool things to do. You just mm. got to get out and do them. Yeah, so, there's lots of stuff on the go. Lots of stuff on the go, and uh, you can't stay in your bubble. you got to get out of your bubble. Mm-hmm. So, I'm trying. Yeah. So last episode, I talked with Gary Collins. It was good. It was a long conversation, and today's episode, I will be talking with Kate Sparks, and uh, Kate is, uh, yeah, we'll be... Uh, we had a good chat about all sorts. I think the Kate um, conversation will be very useful to anybody who is an emerging or thinking about becoming a writer because Kate and I are friends. And so we started talking about, you know, our experiences starting out as writers and things we learned and, and that we didn't know. And and so I think that might be something that uh it, not just for us here in central Newfoundland, even though she lives here in Lewisport, actually, and her work is based in Newfoundland. She writes for the world audience, and, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's interesting the kind of things she writes is totally opposite of what I write, yet we are very, we have very much a lot in common. So, that's how it is sometimes. Looking forward to hearing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and uh, we're still doing the literary tour. Yeah, where are you to- up to now? Uh, t- this is the second of November, so tomorrow's the third. Fogo. I'm in Fogo. I'm leaving on going on the first ferry to Fogo Island. I got to say Fogo Island because the library is actually right in the middle, so it's not in Fogo oh, yeah. proper. Yeah, it's in the school there, mm-hmm. and we have a good handful of authors going to Fogo tomorrow. And then there's a Carboneer stop. I don't have the date on that. Uh, and then St. John's on November 17th is the last. I don't go to Carboneer. 
I'm not at that stop. And uh, November 17th, we are in St. John's with a uh, panel with Gary Collins and ah. Mary Walsh, who just wrote a book this year, and um, Scott Bartlett, who is an independent author. And he wrote, he's, he's written several books, I think, and I know he's done quite well with them. And J. Margot Critch, who is a Harlequin romance author. And she's on her, she just announced her second three book contract. Oh, that's wrong. She, she had a contract with Harlequin romance. And then the line, they have different series, uh, got changed. So this is her second three book contract with the new line. And oh. so, yeah, she's a really good uh, romance writer. And she's done some independent stuff as well. I've read every book she's written so far. And uh, because I like a good romance. And they take me an hour and a half maybe yeah. to read a Harlequin romance. And she's particularly good at them. So this is the Harlequin Dare series. So they're a little naughtier than your... Uh, and that's why Harlequin has them split up into series. Because people who read romance, some like, you know, sweeter with no details. And some like sort of a mid, you know, and some more like a uh, little spicier. And so they call they call them heat, the heat categories, and it's one to five. So the hottest being the five, and I don't know where the dare ones would fall, but uh, they're they're up there, but not not completely graphic or anything like that. It's just it's on the page though. So yeah, um, <laughs> but I like rom but the romance is the key, right? The romance is the the story not the actual you know physical stuff yeah so that's what romance is if you go and it's just more about that then you're gone off into erotica which is a whole other thing and i not that i care that anybody reads that but it's just not something that i've ever been interested in but i do like a good romance a good love story so what do you like Great to read bonnie one. what do you what do you like to read Honestly, I haven't read in a very long time, which I'm talking to an author. I'm sure it doesn't earn me any bonus points. But um, what I do enjoy reading in the past is like uh, YA. Um, there's one series that comes to mind, the Gallagher Girl series. Okay. It's like YA uh, female spies, and it's really funny. Um, so I like a, a good comedy book, I guess. And I like a little bit of espionage. Oh. But, yeah. Yeah, and like Agatha so, Christie's and stuff. So like yeah. murder mysteries, I actually really enjoy those. See, we have writers in Newfoundland writing all that stuff. You know, um, I need to, you want to give me give me some of those names, love? Yeah, well, even I Kate, really I think you would. Up. Kate Sparks writes more urban fantasy and fantasy, but I think you'd enjoy that uh, because it's set in Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, there's an author called Jennifer Kelland. K E L L A N D. And she has two books. It's a series. Uh, the Calmer Girls, C A L M E R, Calmer. And they're basically uh, coming of age type stories. They're teenage sisters. And they live mm -hmm. in St. John's. And then, you know, as they grow older, and there's sort of a sibling rivalry type thing going on. And uh, it's very, very well done. So if you like, uh, and there's some funny bits, and there's some poignant bits, and. Uh, I think you might enjoy that. I did. You know? That and sounds like, that does sound like something I would enjoy. Very I'm well written. Shocked. Very well written. Yeah. I, I, I give her a plug because her writing is particularly good. Uh, I think she's at mm -hmm. the St. John's stop of our tour. Uh, she might be in Gander. She might have been in Gander. I, I lose track of people. <laughs> Because there's so many authors. There's like 30 authors on the tour, right? So uh, where everybody's going to be, I I can never uh, be sure of. But she might yeah. be in Gander tomorrow. and uh, Or Fogo tomorrow, sorry. and uh, But I'm not sure. But yeah, she's she's really good. And her books are around. You can get them online. Everything's on Amazon. So, But uh, there are people writing. And then Mystery, I think that's... Uh, uh, there's a author called, I forget her last name now, but she wrote a mystery that's set in St. John's that's getting really, really good feedback. Um, cr crime, like police investigation type thing, where they're looking into a 
something that's happened. So it's mystery, right? I don't read mystery. So, but you know, if the police are <laughs> looking into a mystery and you know, you have an investigator and they're trying to solve it, then that's a mystery, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I figured. So yeah. yeah, there's, there's, they're writing everything in this province from fantasy to romance to, you know, vampires and mermaids and paranormal stuff. And, uh, your regular historical romance, everything. So, yep, lots of stuff. Anyway, lots to choose from. Yep. It's good we've got you in our life to be our library for you. you I'll do the, yeah, <laughs> I'll do the library. You do the uh, music, and we'll get along just great. <laughs> what do we got? Co- to people playing. Speaking of which, what do we have coming up at Citadel House? Oh, we have. Um, tomorrow, November 3rd, is Sherry Ryan. I do believe Sherry Ryan um, won a Music and L Award back in um, October. At oh. least one. She might have won more than one, actually. Um, and then more on Music and L winners. Mark Bragg is going to be at Citadel House on November 24th, and he just took away three Music and L Awards. And, which and is he, had, he had five crazy. nominations, right? He did, yeah. Him and the Swinging Bells were really, really well nominated, and he took away three OK yeah. awards, which is Defin- great. <laughs> definitely going to have to try um, to make that show. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be great. And then more, this is like later in the month, but we have uh, Ian Foster and Nancy Hines are releasing a Christmas CD. Uh, so they're going to be on in Louisport at Citadel House on November 30th and at the Gander Golf Club on December 2nd. And then we have the open stage on December First, which um, I believe we spoke last episode about how um, sometimes the open stages have to switch months. It's right. right on the cusp of the month, you know. So yeah. there's not going to be an open stage in November, but um, it'll switch to December 1st instead. Okay. And so that's all. Ian so Foster <laughs> and Nancy Hines, what were the dates again? Uh, November 30th for Loose Fort and December 2nd for Gander. I'll definitely be at the Lewis Sport one for sure. Ian's one of my favorites. Yeah. Ian. And I love now that Nancy's He's joined him. Um, brings a whole other uh, element to the show. I, I really enjoy them it does. together. Yeah. And so I, will, I won't miss that if I can help it. So, in fact, a little, um, and Ian knows this, a little uh, tidbit of information. The book that I'm writing that will come out in 2019, which is to be named at some point i had a working title that's not going to be used um i wrote the draft of that listening to ian foster's um cd almost entirely particularly one song called the calendar and ian knows this i told him he's getting an acknowledgement in my book for uh inspiring and being the background music to that book i always said that if it ever got made into a movie which I, I write all when I write books. I always see them as potential movies, um, mm. and uh, not not on purpose. Like that's just how I write. That's my process. As I see them like films, as <laughs> unfolding. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's that's the theme song to the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I've told him that. So hopefully, uh, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll maybe I'll know more about it and uh, when it's going to be released by the time he comes here so I can tell him. Anyway, uh, I think our time is up and now we have an interview with Kate Sparks. We had a great chat, Kate and I did, and as I said before, unless you have something to add, did I did we get everything that we wanted to say? Oh, we're good. We're good? Okay. We covered it all, I do believe. Good. Um, don't leave anything out. So, here we go to Kate Sparks <laughs> of Lewisport who writes... Fantasy and Urban Fantasy, under her name, Kate Sparks, and also under a pen name, Tanith Frost, which is a really cool pen name. I've read uh, work from the urban fantasy, she says, and she says this in the interview, urban fantasy is like, you know, a vampire suddenly walked in here now. Like, it's our world. They don't (laughs) build a world for them. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, anyway, here we go. Without further ado... Uh, Kate Sparks. Okay, good morning, Kate. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Well, that's good. we got a bright, sunny day. We're in the same town. 
We are. It's strange to be talking to you on the phone. <laughs>